today or on Friday, and it kind of tells you which books are about dogs, and which books have mysteries, which books have, you know, relationships and feel good things on them. So um, I can probably tell you if you get to You might be able to tell by you know, the dog or the crow on the, on the, um, the cover, but those are all ready for checkout. Uh, now, before we get started, um, we know we're going to have CCP, um, some of our singers, and then we're also going to have the um, Colby High School um, singers also with us. So, <laughs> in a minute. But if any of you have fines on your library card with overdue fines, um, we're doing food for fines. And so, what you do is bring a can or a, a box, the food that, is, that has that up to date expiration date on it, and you know, in good condition. And you can get it to the ladies at the front desk or here at the front desk right here and tell them that you want to exchange your food for your fine. Okay. Some people say, do I have to bring up each thing for you know? You don't have to have a whole box of stuff to redeem everything. Uh, you can't pay for uh, broken or lost things, so sorry. This box. <laughs> and that will be until the 28th of December. So you have a little bit more time to um, third Thursday, we're going to have um, Bonnie Stasser back and one of her first work that she had at the last time. So that'll be the third Thursday. Get in the green room and she's showing her art. Um, if you check out what changes to the Northwest Campus Library System, they, they give us different books that we may or might may not have. Um, if you haven't you checked out, we get them back by December 16th. You will know if you do that. If you don't, don't have an idea because you have to go to a special place in the library to get books off the shelf or the or a movie or um, the DVD or the audio. So if you have any questions, we can always tell you. Uh, these are our holiday hours. Um, we will be closed the 29th, which is the Friday before the holiday. So do come in before. That's so that we can get the whole library. Shampoo, this is the carpet shampoo. So they start here and they move upstairs, and it's a whole day process. And then it takes a couple days to dry. So we're going to do it over the holidays. And then we're coming back on the second of January, and we get here early and just throw as much stuff back in order so that you can come in and check all the things back in and get more things for the new year. So we are closed that, that, that a little bit longer, and then we'll be closed between the 23rd and 24th and 25th. And then the 26th, the, the travel back to the board is all okay. We didn't go two days that you're open, sorry, but it just kind of kind of fell that way. And uh, it works better for us to be able to get it done all at once, all the cars being able to take it down in the order. Okay, and some of you participated in a Let's Talk literature. Last time we read the book. Um, the book set in Texas. We're doing The Firekeeper's Daughter um, by Angeline Bully, and um, we'll be having the speaker come on January 24th. And we'll have about 30 of those books. So if you're not part of a book club, you can certainly check one of those books out and come to the discussion that night. And it was it was quite a good discussion. Um, 
Um, Rick Austin, if he would raise his hand right here, is going to be doing uh, Thrive on the Bayou in January. Now, it's the second Wednesday of the month because the first Wednesday is too close for us to get home for lunch. And you guys would be just so into the holiday season, you forget. So we're having it on the 10th, okay? All right. And then um, Raymond Garrett is going to be doing um, two books. Uh, you have Brain and Created Equal by Ben Carson and where you live at. Here's on There she is right there. And she'll be doing that for a you know. She loves the book. When she comes to me and says, I have something I want to share. I know that she's passionate about it and she'll enjoy it. Uh, National Library Week will be April 9th, 10th, and 11th. And then we'll have our murder mystery April 13th. Which is Saturday. So just kind of get those in your head and on your calendar so that you can buy tickets and be part of that. Okay. And then our youth activity center will be open during the holidays when we're open from one until five once you know school's out. Um, we have our English as a second language class, and it's um, 6 30 every Thursday night. And then we also have right now we're doing Spanish, some of our um, our staff and a couple other people are going to learn Spanish so that we can uh, help people a little bit better on our front end. So that's also available. Remember, if you have, we have a storm, you don't know if we're open or not, you'll find it on Facebook, or you'll find it on the website, and there's a little blue note there, and we'll find it, we'll put it here. So we'll be a few places that you can get a notice and we'll call it. If you call and the, it just rings, you know we're closed. <laughs> we don't change any of this is weather we're close to the weather we don't it takes a lot to do that i remember that libby is a um um audio book or movies one of the audio books and ebooks that you can check items out on and then also hoopla hoopla you can do the audio books the ebooks the movies the cartoons you can even do now magazines so um on your phone on your computer on your phone for Hoopla and on your tablet. Okay. And then we're still we're still rejoicing that last year in 2022 we were um designated the Star Library for the whole United States. Whether we can get that in 2023, who knows? But we were blessed to have it this year in 2022. So um, this is end of the new year and rejoicing. So having said all of that. Let me go and find. Oh, I don't know. Let me invite the um, the singers and Granny Carroll, the um, conductor, and Pat Littlemire, our pianist, to sing us away in the holiday. Good afternoon, everyone. It's great to be here. The first time we've gotten the form. Why is Colby High School here with Colby Community College? Well, if you haven't heard, Colby Public Schools could not find a music teacher. So I'm picking that up on my free time. So, <laughs> so, some of my ten high school students, and I have a couple of kids here, were not formal attire because I literally dragged them out of class. Oh, we are here, and then they're going back to class after we get done. So we're going to have an intermingling of songs today. We're going to start with this first one with the high school choir singing Under Winter Moon. We did do it last night at our concert with a violin and a compass, but we couldn't make it here today, so Pat has stepped into the play. <laughs> Thank you. 
They're going to have to introduce themselves. Obviously, they're all from Colby. Okay, my college is going to be different. The letters are right down there, please. Hi, I'm Bailey Boyer, and I'm a junior. I'm Kaden Schultz. I'm a sophomore. I'm Lexi Schrader. I'm a senior. I'm a sophomore. I'm Anna Starbuck. I'm a senior. I'm Riley Shippers. I'm a junior. I'm Janessa Lehot. I'm a freshman. <laughs> Next, I'll have my sunflower singers come up. We're going to do an off the towel arrangement of 16 tons. But not quite Christmas Eve, but it's a lot of fun. Oh, 
Right now, there and where you're from, please. Right there, you're on the I'm Miss Austin. I'm Kylie Euland. I'm from Logan, Kansas. I am Danny Mel, I'm from Athens, Kansas. I am Corey Mogul, I'm from Brighton, Colorado. Um, hi, I'm Baker Mudless, I'm from Iowa, Kansas. I'm Allison Sheldon, and I'm from Midland. I'm Lauren Rogers, and I'm from Cold. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so Jess and I are going to sing a Christmas theme for the breath of the episodes. I am Thank you. 
Next, we're going to feature the high school group, and we're doing an acapella piece called Take Me Home. Oh, I'm talking to you. And I've been asking because you know. Oh, take me to you. I want you to be to you. want you to be to you. Thank 
All right, next, my college student is coming back up, and we're going to be today in and not. We are going to be the most things or
Next, we'll feature cutter with lead and snow, right? And that's when you yeah. So far, it's the virus. Yeah. 
I Small 
I thought we were going to be like, Thank you. 